Bruta, well, he won here last year in a meeting record, 145.86. And there is Elliot Giles, improving all the time. He's having a wonderful indoor season. And starters, quite a big field. Some would say it's a two or three too many, but let's see what happens as they have to stay in lanes for this first 150. Karama slots into third place. Elliot Giles is not hanging about. He slots straight in behind the pacemaker, Tiradski. And I rather feel he'll want to stay out there as they go through 200 in around 24 seconds. A little bit on the quick side, but better be a little bit too quick than too slow. And the athletes behind have got their options. Karama in third place behind Giles, and then uh, Webb followed by Van Diepen and Kajot paying close attention to what's going on there. He's in sixth place at the moment, so they come round. Oh, and somebody's dropped out there. Didn't see who that was. It was a white vest. But uh, Ziaradzki down the home straight with Britons in one and two, Giles and Webb, and then Kramer. Kajot still back in sixth place, Van Diepen in fifth. Pacemaker drops out, he's done a good job. Elliot Giles being challenged by Webb now down the back straight. They go through the bell in around 117 flat. Giles holds the lead though, determined to maintain pole position. Kramer in third place, Van Diepen in fourth. Kajot's got a lot of running to do and he's, the others are away. He's not going to get back to them, surely now. He's in fourth place, Kajot. The locals roaring him on, but it's... Uh, Win surely for Elliot Giles, who kicks away down the home straight. Watch the clock. This has been perfectly judged. Giles takes it. Wow, 143.64 for Elliot Giles. That is the fastest time in the world this year. And that has been coming. That has been threatening. He's had a couple of comfortable wins over 800 metres so far this year. Those coming for Giles the Briton in Karlsruhe and Yeva, both of those around 145 and a half. Well, he goes almost two seconds quicker here, 143.63, and that makes him the second fastest man in history. One of the performances of this indoor season, and it's been building, hasn't it? He's handled himself quite supremely, Elliot Giles, an 800, a 1500, an 800 and a 1500, his indoor season before tonight. He has the strength, he has the speed, and nobody could live with him here. The pacemaker did a great job, all credit to Zieradzki, but Elliot Giles here is a class apart. Jamie Webb will have been quick too. Let's get Webb's time, because he's not so far back. Webb, 144.54, that's a huge new personal best for him, and Kramer of Sweden too.